Um, well, we've known one another now for about 36 years. Uh, I went up on the September, obviously, for the hot picking the first time. Found it very strange. Everyone was um, very helpful, very nice. Um, we'd have a big fire and everyone would cook on the fire. Um, we'd go out in the evening to the pub. Um, up early in the morning, seven o'clock, start work. Um, all new to me, obviously outside work, I'd never done it before. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, went for 36 years, so it must have been that good. <laughs> it was nice to get out in the country and meet different people. Um, it progressed along, got like better every year. I say better every year. It was um, obviously the same thing you were doing, the same pattern. But as the years went on, it was sort of less and less people because there was progress with the actual hot picking itself. Um, it was on Lane's farm that I went first and always was. And Robert's very nice, you know, to get on with. Really good to work for because some of the farmers weren't as good, you know, they weren't all as good. And we just stayed there and it was like every year and it was like a holiday. Come September, everybody's saying, oh, you're off your hot picking holiday. And uh, yeah, we, yeah we enjoyed it. It, it was enjoyable. Uh, and the kids, they'd come up on the weekend and um, stay for the weekend. They enjoyed um, you know, going around and seeing all sorts of different things, going rabbiting and out in the evening as well. They loved it, my grandchildren. But And it became sort of a way of life because in September, as soon as it would come, they'd say, oh, Granny's going hot picking. Oh, we want to come up, we want to come up, you know. So they'd be up there for the first weekend and then come back and pick us up. They just loved it. And like I said, it became a way of life. Um, They were always together, always out doing their bits, rabbiting and um, apple collecting and potato collecting. But that in itself, with the rabbiting and the apples and the... And the vegetables came in was a way of life because that was you know that's part of the reason they went up there they enjoyed doing it and it was their food as well so yeah it's good <laughs> it, it seems that um brian was obviously three months when he went to hot picking and my dad's a year older than him so obviously they grew um brian coming from tradiga uh, meeting my dad from the forest and the, all the families um dad was one of eight Brian had his um, relations and all. So they, they all grew together. And they've always kept in touch. And obviously, as I grew up, um, when my brother could drive and that, we always used to go to the Wheat Chief pub. And we used to meet every year. Um, we As children, we weren't allowed in the pub. So me and my brother, Michael, sat out and had a, a cheese roll while they all congregated in the pub. But um, before we go there, we go to the hot picking fields and see them. And obviously, they've Brian and Dad's always been into rabbiting, which they have always done up the hot picking and in their own um, places of living. And we've always had um, dogs to work for rabbits. And I've always kept whippets. So me and Brian has always had band who's got the best dogs. Um, but you can tell their friendship. They might even phone one another for months. But you know September we were going to see Brian because we'd have that call. We're up there, come up. And one of the recent uh, memories I have, me and Dad, my mum was still alive and my husband went up. And they had a big campfire and all what they call the boys, the other Welsh people were up there. Um, and Brian and Sharon had um, rabbit and hair. So I said, well, I've never tasted hair, so I'll have some hair. So they gave me um, some meat to try, cause, but I always remember the, all the dogs, the big fire. I mean, we had some laughs and, and Dad, come September, oh, see if Brian's going hot picking, see if Brian's going up hot picking. So, uh, so since I've ever been born, we've always gone up there, but I know Brian and Dad have always met every September. We didn't see Brian any other time of year, we would see him September. Because um, it gives the children the now day children, an insight on what was going on like years ago and how p other people lived. Because now, as far as I'm concerned, they don't do enough outside work. It's all inside games and stuff like that. And they don't see, like like we used to go out and we'd be out for hours and hours, but you don't see any children out now. They don't seem to be outgoing. It's just all in and it's not, you know, to me, it's not, it's not good. It's just nice to be out. <laughs> 